Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Well, shepherds can be watching, all silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, they shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus. Wonderful, you guys. You did a great job. Okay, that wraps it up for tonight. And um, I want you all to make up at the. I want you all to be at the uh, caroling outing tomorrow afternoon for practice. Yes, Miss Baldwin. Okay, I also have some blank spaces left on this sign-up sheet. I want you to look at it and see what uh, you are going to be doing for practice this next week. And we got to set up for decorations, refreshments, and clean up. Somebody has to clean up. So take the board and check it out. Why were you and Renee so late today, PJ? Mom thought choir practice started at 6 and the bake sale at school started at 5. But really, choir practice started at 5 and the bake sale isn't until next Friday. Traffic was moving so slow, it took us 30 minutes to drive across town. We'll be on time tomorrow. Okay, looks like we need three more people to sign up to bring desserts, someone to hang up the Christmas lights, <laughs> someone to help set up, and someone to help clean up. I'll bring some brownies. <laughs> Put me down for hanging the lights. That sounds easy. I'll help set up since I'll be here early. Anyway, my dad is running the sound system and he'll have to check all the microphones and speakers before the concert. PJ, what do you and Renee want to do? I guess Renee and Mom can make another gingerbread house. They already have to make two more for the bake sale since the ones they made for today will be long gone next week. And I'll, and I'll help with cleanup duty. Okay, that about does it. I've got to run home to finish up the big science project for Miss Flint's class. It's still on Monday. Bye. 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 Have a good time. Bye. Bye. Renee, I told you I have to read. I have to read this chapter for school tomorrow. Now, please leave me alone. But I want to ask you a question. Not right now. I need to read this before Mom takes us to go caroling. I won't have time to get it done later. You're lucky that your teachers don't assign homework on weekends. But you really need to go away and let me get this done. But why did you wait until Sunday to do it anyways? I didn't have time before now. I need to get this done. So please, go away. But I want to ask you a question. I'm sure it's, it's important. I'm sure it's an extremely important question like do unicorns have purple hair or what do bunnies dream about? But I'm telling you seriously, ask me later. It's important. Renee, let PJ finish her homework, please. Thank you. Well, can I ask you my question? Let me ask one first. Who decided I needed to make a gingerbread house for the church's Christmas concert? PJ? What? If you think the concert needs a gingerbread house, then I guess you can be the one to help me make it. Yes, Mom. Now can I ask my... Now can I ask my question? Oh, sweetie, can I wait? Right now you need to come help me pack the cookies for Miss Green's cookie swap tonight. Okay. Done. <sighs> Good. Now you can help us pack cookies before you get ready for caroling. Let's get a move on. Someone needs to give him a thing. He 
this happen to? run to my car and get hot chocolate and I'll be right back. Lucy and PJ, you both take charge until I'm gone. One flyer. I've only handed out one flyer in two hours and the guy who took it just spit his gum in it and crumpled it up. This is a waste of time. Everyone around here has something better to do than stop and listen to us sing. I should be home trying to untangle the mess of Christmas lights Miss Baldwin gave me. And it's so c cold. Can we go home? Maybe we just need to sing louder. Christy donations. Oh, you already have one? What do you want me to do with this bucket? Do you see it says donations? Everybody's putting trash in it. That is not fair. I don't. I wish they would stop it. <coughs> just, just <laughs> throw it away, Chrissy. Other than that, how much was donated? A quarter, two dimes, and two pennies. <laughs> That's all. That is impossible. Look at this parking lot, crammed full of people running from one store to the next, getting ready for Christmas, and they can't even stop for a second to take a flyer. Donate to a worthy cause. Maybe we should no. just call it a day, Miss Baldwin. No one wants us here. Miss Baldwin, you have Miss Baldwin, Miss Baldwin. Are you on trial? Yeah. We're at the hot cocoa. I'm sorry. No, we're not. We're at the hot cocoa. I have hot cocoa. Wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. I have hot cocoa now for everyone. Take a seat where you are and I'll pass it out. Now raise your hand if you want some. What's the matter? Aren't you guys having any fun? No one would take off flyers. Nobody can hear you. No one would take off flyers. And people think I'm collecting trash. Maybe we should just call it a day. And it's so c c cold. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Well, I'm sorry it's been such a rough day, but you need to remember what we're here for. We're not here just to hand out flyers or money. We're not just here so people can congratulate us and on our singing abilities or agree to come to our concert Sunday. We're not. No, not primarily. We're here to <coughs> remind people of the true meaning of Christmas. So let's put a smile on our faces, stand up, and see how much energy we have so we can sing this next song. Stop. Stop. 
some of the like, things in like front of them. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to you. No. Just get to them. Down the back of her house, still we see he lies. Above the deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in the dark, sweet silence, the everlasting the hope and fears of all the year are in and in and tonight. Good job. Good job, Chris. I you collected some more donations. Now I want to see everyone on time to our last practice on Friday night. You are dismissed now to go. You want us to have the microphone? Yeah, because this is our entire scene. How do we always end up with you on the side and me on the side? Count one, two, three. One, two, three. God rest you merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power and we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father a blessed angel came And unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy Oh, tidings of comfort and joy and when they came to Bethlehem, where our dear Savior lay, they found him in a manger, where oxen feed on hay. His mother Mary, kneeling down unto the Lord, did pray, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Now to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place, and with true love and brotherhood each other now embrace this holy tide of Christmas. Miss all others doth deface Oh, tidings of comfort and joy Comfort and joy Oh, tidings of comfort and joy Now we gotta get the things off Now you have to let us use the microphones Because you guys are just hogging all No, you hog the microphone almost the entire time So just shut up I want to thank you all for taking the time to come out to the church's 31st annual Chris Children's Christmas Concert. I hope you all enjoy the decorations, the singing, and the lovely refreshments that the children and their parents worked so hard to put together for you. Jay, can you get some candles in the decoration box, please? Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in calm and in your seats, and our Christmas concert will continue momentarily. Boys and girls, I'm going to find out what's going on. Just sit tight, and I'll, I'll be back. And PJ, get candles. Thank you. This is a catastrophe. After all our hard work, everything is ruined. It's not fair. I think I'm going to cry. I'm not worried about the singing. It's just no one will be able to see all the lights I put up. Do you know how long that took me? First, I spent three hours untangling them. Three hours. Then I plugged them in and they didn't work. I had to check every light bulb until I found the broken one. It was the last light bulb. It was the last bulb on the string of a thousand. One thousand. 
I guess you should start to check in the other end. I know. Stop, right there, my part. There's mercy. I'm scared of the dog. It's okay, Chrissy. Miss Baldwin is trying to get the lights back on. Here, hold this candle. It's really bright. PJ, can I ask you my question now? <laughs> now? Yeah. I guess so. It's not like I'm doing anything else at the moment. What's your question? My question is, why do we have to celebrate Christmas when it just makes everyone crazy? What? Why do you think Christmas makes people crazy? Well, you've been ignoring me. Lucy was mad that she only handed out three flyers on sa Sunday. And all those people in the parking lot looked extra grumpy. And... And Miss Baldwin almost fainted last night at practice. <laughs> one thousand light bulbs, one thousand light bulbs. And I heard mom tell Miss Green that she couldn't wait for Christmas to be over so everything can just go back to normal. Why do we bother with Christmas when all it does is make people crazy? He's got a point, PJ. Look how stressed everyone's been of this one concert. I know. You're right, Renee. The Christmas activities got a little out of control this year. Miss Baldwin said it best when we went caroling. The important thing is that we remember the real reason for Christmas. Presents? No, not presents. Christmas isn't about the presents, the decorations, the gingerbread houses, the craft <coughs> fairs, the concerts, or the lights. Oh, the lights. It's a time to remember the very first Christmas when God sent his son Jesus to be born in a dirty barn and grow up to be the savior that would die for our sins. If we don't take time to think about that, then I guess we haven't truly celebrated Christmas at all. Well, I guess I haven't been really celebrating Christmas then. Me either. Nope. But we can start, whether this concert happens or not, whether people appreciate our decorations and refreshments or not. I'm going to remember the first Christmas and stop making myself crazy with all the distractions. I'm going to remember that Jesus was born to die for my sins, and I'm going to celebrate the real reason for the season. Thank you for your patience, folks. Stop. Same sweet blue, a fuse with an extra lights plugged in, but that's not the issue has been resolved. We can begin now. One, two, three. <laughs> the first Noel. The angels did say Was to certain poor shepherds In fields as they lay In fields as they lay They keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night That was so deep no well, no well, no well, no well. Then is the king of Israel. They looked up and saw a star. Shining in the east, beyond them far, and to the earth it gave great light, and so it continued both day and night. No well, no well, no well. King of Israel. That's all, folks. 
five. 